Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel and I'm back to opening um, blister packs again because I do love opening them and <coughs> especially now that the sun and moon blister pack is out um, yeah, I mean, it's it's a really nice um, expansion so yeah, I also still really love the Primal Clash expansion even though it's about to be out of rotation about here, meaning about a year but anyways, um, it is kind of sad that it's not gonna be like you know in the standard format anymore. Primal Clash was one of the more interesting expansions, I reckon. But anyway, so yeah, let's open them. So we have two. Let's start with the Sun and Moon. Okay, so this is well Lunella, obviously. Um, they have five different um, artwork. For some reason, I didn't get any of the of the um, Sogala, Sogalio, sorry, artwork. Um, anyways, so let's start with opening them. So I like to just sort of rip my packs open because well why not? Inside we have a Decidueye um, artwork and a booster pack. So okay, let's see what we have. And um oh, come on. <laughs> Fell so badly. <laughs> what the hell? Alright, so here we go. Let's start with the code card for you guys. And one, two, three, four. And let's see, so as usual, try to guess if there's anything. As far as I can tell, there's nothing interesting, but we'll see. Oh, I think I just saw something holo ish there. So let's start with um, we have a Growlithe. Well, so, yeah, let's start with the Growlithe, I suppose. Um, then there's a Surskit, Formantis, so I, I have all of this now, Morello, Sunny Gas, um, and Water Energy. So, um, in case nobody. Um, New or in case, well, you guys didn't really watch my previous video or whatever carefully. Um, the Sun and Moon packs have 11 cards, um, with one of them being a standard energy. Um, okay, so back to the cards. We have a Bodor, we have a Grand Bull. Um, one of the things about the Sun and Moon um, expansion is that the Pokemon that they have tend to be, um, I mean the evolution ones, uh, a lot more of them are uncommon or even common compared to um, before where pretty much a lot of the, the second stage or the first stage or the well basically the last stage of evolution is generally rare anyways um, Pokemon Catcher Reverse Holo Chinchu and a Butterfree I have about seven or eight of them now so that's with uh, Sun and Moon kind of disappointing there there was nothing interesting let's go for our Primal Clash which I usually like a bit more. Alright, so inside we have a Grudon pack. As you guys know, I like to open um, Gardevoir packs. I feel that they're luckier, especially if they're both Gardevoir inside and outside. This is a Grudon. I have had um, good luck before with the Grudon pack, so let's see. Oh, it's so much easier to open. Maybe it's the new packs that are harder. Okay, alright, so let's flip that over for you guys. And okay, so one, two, three, not four. Uh, can't feel anything, unfortunately. So I guess these two packs are going to be a well disappointment. Anyways, we have Panamo, we have Torchic, Star U, Lotad, Sorok, Groval. I actually need the other Groval, like the Holo version for my collection. Lantern, Shrine of Memories. Do I need this? I think I might need this for my deck. Uh, reverse Holo Nidorina and a Needle Queen. Yep, so nothing really cool in there, unfortunately. Basically, only these two are rares. Well, sad, but oh well, it happens with this sort of um, openings. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time.